So this tutorial will show you how to apply an audio effect so that the audio that you are playing sounds like it's coming from either a monitor, a TV, or we can do one where it sounds like it's coming from another room that's maybe next to the room that your characters are in. And so it's actually really easy to do in Premiere. I'm sure you can do this in a similar software if you have audio effects, let's say in like Audacity or Final Cut Pro and that sort of thing. So just to demonstrate, what I have right here is a clip from my new cartoon, A Voyager Episode 1, The Segi Truth, which launches May 7th on the Trough Ribbon Films channel. And no, I'm not plugging or anything, so make sure um, you check that out or, yeah, check it out. Just watch it. Um, but anyway, what I have here is just a scene, and when I play it... I think... I think I got it. You can hear that the audio plays out. Now, again... Let's say I want the audio to come from the monitor. I want to sound like it's coming from the monitor. What we can do is come over here to the effects tab and there is an audio effects folder. And I showed you how to do video effects before in another tutorial in Premiere. And this is a very similar um, series of events here. You're just gonna find the filter you want. In this case, we want the high pass filter. And you can either drag it onto the audio file that you want, or you can click the audio file and then double click to apply the filter, however you want to do it. So we will just pop that filter onto the audio file, and you can see it's now in the audio effects area of the effect controls window. And if we play this out now, I think. You can hear that it sounds like it sounds a little bit digitized, maybe. It sounds not as punchy, perhaps. Um, it sounds like it could be coming from the monitor. And in order to adjust this, you can just adjust this number right up here. This will basically increase or decrease the effect. Now, if you decrease the number, it's going to sound less compressed. I think. I think I got it. So you'd probably want to find, you know, a good mid-range there for your effect, um, just so it sounds the way you want it to sound. And of course, the higher you put that number, the higher the effect will be. So that is one way to do this, and you can go in and adjust all that accordingly if you wish. Now, let's say we want this to come from another room. We want it to sound like the audio is coming from, I don't know, the other room of the ship <laughs> that these guys are in. You're hearing it from the wall, basically you could apply a low pass filter then. And now it's the same concept. If I play this, I think, I think I got it. You can see, or hear, I should say, it sounds muffled. It sounds like it's, you know, coming from another room. And from here, you could, of course, adjust the numbers. The lower, in this case, you put it this time, the higher the effect will be. So if I put it to, like, say, around 300, <laughs> I think I got it. You can tell it's much more muffled. So it's basically the opposite of the high pass when you are adjusting it that way. But if you're looking to make your sounds, if you're looking to make your voices, your sounds, or whatever sound more dynamic or to correspond with your environment, you can definitely check out these two filters that I have showed you here today. But anyway, that wraps up this tutorial. If you would like to view more video tutorials, free tutorials, you can visit IncredibleTutorials.com. I have a wide selection of Flash, Anime Studio, and Premiere tutorials. If you're looking for more extensive courses, you can visit IncrediblePhiles.com. Again, I have courses on Flash, Anime Studio, and more. And finally, if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one tutoring, please check out IncredibleTutoring.com. And again, May 7th, that's tomorrow as of this recording. Please go to Trough Ribbon Films on YouTube and check out A Voyager Episode 1. Thanks for watching, and no, that's not a plug. Oh, okay, yeah, it is. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.